Hey everybody, it's Jeff Johnson. I'm working on fog for Weathermaker. Very excited about this. I'd like to demo my early fog work here. Uh, you can see I've got this volume of fog here. Uh, right now I'd like to just demo what this looks like and kind of walk around. So as I'm coming out of the fog it dissipates and then I can look back you can see this giant dome of fog which is pretty cool. Now it's just a regular sphere so as I raise it up you can see it's kind of just a plain old sphere. So nothing too fancy there. And then it has the standard fog properties where as you walk into the fog things become more clear like this glowy light for example becomes more and more and more occluded as I get further away from the fog. I believe I'm using the exponential fog formula right now. Uh, let's see, so you can see this box getting clearer as I get closer as well. So these fog spheres have the same attributes of normal fog, which is pretty cool, I think. Let's change this border color. You can see I've got this kind of red border on the fog. That's kind of the glow or the kind of the rim color of the fog. Uh, you can control how much this rim color uh, is affected by doing fog color fall off. So as I increase that you can see the rim kind of starts dominating the fog. And this white part is kind of just a small little part inside. Uh, typically you probably wouldn't want to do that, so I will leave that like that, and then I really liked kind of the green glow that it was doing. You can change the inner color as well for some kind of creepy effects, so make sure to play with that. I mean, you could put this fog sphere on top of the player to kind of globally add fog, or you could put it over certain areas in your game to hide them. I mean, it's pretty exciting. There's a lot of possibilities here. Alright, so let's move on to the density properties. Right now my fog is fairly clear. I mean, you can see that it's pretty easy to see through it. However, you can change that by ratcheting up that intensity density excuse me, to a higher value. So we're going to bring that all the way back down to 0.5. Now this outer density kind of controls how dense the shell is. You'll notice that it doesn't really affect the fog close to the camera, but it seems it only affects the fog on the kind of the shell of the sphere. So that's another one you can play with. And then finally there's fog iterations. That's kind of the ray casting component of the fog. There's not there's not a lot of difference between 10 and 40. I mean there's a very subtle difference you might be able to notice there as the fog is getting more higher quality with that number going up but that makes the fragment shader a lot more expensive. I've set it to 10 which is probably higher than it needs to be. You could probably get away with 5 but I'm going to leave it at 10. You can see if you go all the way to 1 that the fog is less quality but it still looks pretty decent so I leave that at 10. And that's kind of the early demo. I am excited to add Fog to Weathermaker. I think it's going to really add uh, another level of realism and engagement for your games. So please leave feedback in the comments. I'd love to know what else you want with this Fog. Uh, I'm here to serve, so please let me know what features you want with this Fog. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.